Okay, anybody else want to come home with me today? No, nothing else. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Rami's Retro. It is a very hot and actually slightly balmy um, 118 degrees today. We hit a record. So, um, yeah, it's rough being in the car for an intro and an outro <laughs> without the air conditioner on. Um, but here we are. We had a little drive after work and we are at Stapley and Southern um, Goodwill in Mesa. And I do not believe I have ever been here. So I'm excited to get inside, see what we can find. Um, if you are new to the channel, please have some fun. Sit back, grab a drink, put your feet up. Let's uh, do some thrifting and um, hopefully you enjoy yourself and you subscribe to my channel. And for those of you that are my subscribers, my loyal followers and my viewers, thank you so much. Let's go on another adventure. Here we go. Okie dokie. Well, let's see what we've got. Um, I'm already seeing, oh my goodness, I'm already seeing plates. Like I need plates. Um, that one's $5.49. It's got some schmutz on it. Who makes that? No maker's mark. I do love it. It's totally my style. I think we're going to leave it for right now though. All right, let's scoot back here and see what we missed. It's a pretty onyx little heart. $5.49. I like that. Pretty birdie music box. Damaged, of course. Broken beak. Poor thing. I like that, how it's got pottery and then the brass on it. That's really neat. $349. Like a candle holder, I guess, almost. It's pretty. I like it. Don't think there's a ton of... Um, age though to it. Here's a little birdie, little duck, 349. I think we'll pass on him too. Chest set, teapot, a couple of baggies that people left behind here. What did they leave behind? Little Greek doll and Russian doll, 649. And then doll dolls. We don't mess with dollies. Don't need to mess around with the dolls. Not seeing anything on those shelves. Swing on down here where we saw my beautiful plate, but not seeing anything else. These are interesting. I, again, I don't think these have a ton of age. Made in China, but they are really neat. I like them. How much are they? $7.49 each. Oh yeah. Well, we're gonna pass on those guys then. Pretty ballerinas, $2.49 on these little home co ballerinas. They're very cute. They're very adorable. Are they busted? They're not busted. I don't think they have a ton of value, but you know what? They're really cute. We're gonna throw those little girls in the cart, I think. All right, what else do we have here? Looks like this is an old, maybe Universal Studios um, uh, book. Oh, Progressive Art Products, 1965, 249. Uh, bookend, very damaged, chalkware. Um, that's too bad. Two forty nine is a great price, but I think we're gonna have to pass on him. He's really, really banged up. And just one bookends aren't too much good if there's just one of them. What's that? Oh, I think it's new. It's either a G or a C. Two forty nine, but it's newer. Oh, what's this? This is like a, a scale, a vintage bottom of a scale. There's quite a few crystals missing, but there's marble on the bottom, 949. And then of course it's missing the scale parts. So that's kind of a bummer. It's also quite big. Um, maybe we'll keep an eye out for those parts and see if we find anything. This is kind of neat too, 649 on that guy. I think there's a little bit of age to that. Hi everybody. Oh, the mirror is really dirty. Okay. Well, that's it for the figurine aisle. Oh wait, there's two of those candle things. Okay, well that changes things a little bit, but then do I wanna spend $6.49 each on those? Um, I don't know, they are really cool. What do we think I could get for them? $6.49 each. Maybe we should throw them in the cart and find out. Okie dokie, what do we got here? 
Um, and these are some pretty candle holders back here. I don't think that those have a ton of age or value to them either. $4.49 each on those. Um, but they are pretty red. I like that. And what else do we have that's broken? Whatever it was. I can see the big giant crack running all the way through it. Any other cool candle holders here? Doesn't look like it. Nothing that's got too much age to it. Here we've got a lot of clear. I don't see any fabulous crystal. We're looking for beautiful glass, beautiful crystal, glassy babies, of that kind of stuff. And I'm not seeing anybody on this shelf. Um, it's like a little container that opens. Oh, that's cool. Huh. Four forty-nine. I like the color on it. Any goodies in the candles? No. And then more candle holders and things, glasses, fancy glass. Those are kind of neat. I like them with the green on them. I've never seen that before. $3.49 each on those. I don't see a signature or anything on them but I've never seen that kind of like green sort of striation, just the leaves. So that's really interesting, I like that. Crystal Dartiques probably, handmade crystal, Birmingham, England, 12.49, I don't know. I feel like we see those everywhere. It's not really my jam and I don't think it has a ton of value. very ornate. Um, a friend of mine said she wanted one of these. I don't know that she wants one necessarily with candle holders attached to it though. I wonder if she would want this. I might have to send a picture of it to her and see what she says because I will totally buy this for her for $9.49. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Wood. We have arrived. Um, it's actually not that bad not nearly as bad as wood typically is. I like that little hand carved box. It's a little loose, $3.49. Kind of thin and cheap, but pretty. This is more like kind of art pieces and frames and things, so I don't see anything, anything there. And yeah, not seeing too much right here either. Yeah, it's not quite as bad as it usually is. Look, there's even an empty spot. <laughs> you don't see that very often in wood. Oh, here's a painting. It's pretty. B. Saunders. Looks like it was, the name was painted over someone else's name. That's a little strange. 549 on that guy. I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave him behind though. Oh, but here's a little, painting. What's this under here? Well, it's going to be dangerous to try to get to it. I'm almost there. All right. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty. $3.49 on that guy. Well, I think we're going to leave him behind too, but he is pretty. Oh, those are some interesting canisters. Four forty-nine. Doesn't have the lid. This one's six forty-nine. Oh, cactus, adobe-looking house. Kind of fun. Maybe handmade, I would say. All right. Well, that wraps it up for us in wood. Okie dokie. We have come to glass. Let's see what we got here. Any fantastic, fabulous glassware? Lots of dye. We don't need that. Oh, that's terrible. Oh my goodness. Like a wedding cake topper. That's really funny. $4.49. <laughs> I love that. That's very cool. Um, mostly just clear glass. Not seeing anything too incredibly fabulous. Yep. Just a lot of clear. Somebody's making some beautiful, beautiful music in the background. Oh, here's some more of those glasses. They are really, really pretty. 
They're three forty nine each, which is like a lot more than I want to pay. It looks like they're by Libby. Maybe I should look them up and see if they sell for fifteen dollars a piece. I mean, I've never actually seen this pattern before. They're really pretty. There's three here, and then I think there were two on that other shelf, which I'm gonna need to go get and put them all together. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll look them up. I have a feeling someone else looked them up and they didn't like what they found, so that's why there's two of them sitting over there, but I don't know. Let's, uh, let's see what they're all about real quick. Let's learn a little bit of something about those guys. Well, looks like one sold a little while ago. Eight glasses with the little caddy that they would have originally come with um, for 60 bucks, which is awesome price. But that was for eight glasses, basically brand new with the caddy. And these are five glasses with a lot of gold missing from the rims and not in a caddy. So I think I'm going to pass. I'm going to be smart. I've already got quite a bit of glass and glassware listed, so I'm not going to go for that. No can do. Um, any tea cups, saucers that we can't live without? Doesn't look like it, and it doesn't look like there's anything too incredibly amazing in mugs either. Not seeing any Starbucks, not seeing anything really awesome in vintage. That kind of fooled me for a second, but it's just Mr. Coffee. So let's swing around the corner, maybe two plates. Not that we need any plates, but I mean, how can we not look? That's actually really cute. That probably has some age to it. Little tiny apple cup. He's a cutie pie. All right, let's go to plates. Okay, teapots, bottles, jars, canisters. Don't see anything too amazing. She's very cute for decorative purposes only. Okay, well, that doesn't really make her very useful, does it? Nothing in little jars or bottles or anything just basic stuff kind of a fun horse probably Avon sure is Avon heck yeah little uh, sugar bowls I guess that one's really pretty it's got a little mark on the bottom I don't know what it is though 549 I don't know it's very pretty that's for sure. This looks kind of old back here. What's that guy? Oh, it is old. It's got mushrooms on it. Probably Arnell's. Looks like Arnell's. Somebody hand painted it. There's a big chip on that front mushroom though, so that doesn't really help us out too much. $5.49. Uh, canning jars. We don't need any of that. The pumpkins are cute, but they're not old. $5.49 a piece. Fall is coming. Cracker Barrel setting Halloween next week. It's crazy talk. I can't believe it already. That's really pretty. 99 cents. Uh, Lania, blah, 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 Sweden. Interesting. Gustavsburg, Sweden. Huh. I don't know. Never heard of that. I really like that little plate. Maybe I'll have to look that up too. I'm going to throw that in the cart for 99 cents. And, uh, check it out check 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 it out these are neat nope there's just one. Ooh, that one's neat too oh my goodness 449 just one though vendome what's this that's pretty enough to hang up on the wall 449 i love this made in england ah i'm gonna have to get this it's so pretty it's just totally caught my heart this is my this is my thing that unfortunately i think is going to be for me oh those are cute there's just three of them 249 a piece this one's got a big crack going down it oven stone royal china those are pretty though i do like those very very ver much okay anybody else want to come home with me today no nothing else there's just one of those plates huh that's kind of sad I think these might be Lily and Vernon. My mom bought uh, this set, had this set when I was little, when I was growing up, and it was always on our, these are absolutely them. It was always on our dining table, and now I have it. Oh my gosh, I lied. They're Furio, made in Italy. Something something, Quadrafoglio, made in Italy. 
They look just like the Lillian Vernon plates that my mom has. Five forty-nine for four of them. I feel like there's some value there. Why are they still sitting here? Are they broken? I don't see any damage or anything. I think we need to look those guys up and see what that's all about too. He's an interesting plate, Japan. Okay, and those are interesting, but they're plastic. They're chargers. That's for under your plates. I really, really like these. 549. I'm gonna throw those in the cart and look those guys up too. Oh, look, they've got baby plates too. Okay, well, now this is getting serious. What have we done? All right, um, let's look those up. Let's see what's going on. I'm so sad. There are a few listed of bowls, little plates, and dinner plates, but no solds. So I think I'm going to leave them behind because they'd be like $22 if I got all of those. And who knows how long they'd sit around and I have to clean them all. And I have to be smart. I've got a room full of stuff and my dining room is starting to fill up again. And I just need to be smart and I need to get stuff listed and sold that I have first. So even though these are beautiful and they totally remind me of my mom's beautiful, beautiful Lillian Vernon plates that I have, I'm going to leave them behind and let somebody enjoy them. I'm going to put them right there so they can find the whole set and we're going to keep rolling down the road. Okay, kitchen stuff. That looks longer burgery. No, it's not. It's too thin. Not to mention that um, longer burger doesn't seem to be as popular as it once was. Now, I have a few baskets that I thought were going to do really well. They had done well for other people, and they are just us sitting. Nobody is touching them. Nobody's even looking at them. So, I don't know. I guess that was kind of a bust. Thankfully, I didn't pay too much for them. These are really cool. Those are old for sure. Photographs, 349. Look at how old that is. It's got to be new and like made to look old because it's in too good of condition. But it's neat looking little photo album for sure. I don't think people really do photo albums anymore. Everything is digital now, which is sad. I still do photo albums. I like that kind of thing. I think I always will. All right, well, this is all like office-y stuff, and we don't need anything here. Not seeing anything too fabulistic. Hand-painted Portugal. He's a funny-looking little guy, isn't he? How much is he? Three forty-nine. Big chip on his booty, though. So we are going to leave him behind. Okie dokie, we are in art. Um, the art department isn't very big here, but it looks like everything they've got is pretty much contemporary and prints and things that we don't really need. Oh, Mark Russell, either or. Oh my goodness, that's quite uh, provocative, isn't it? Who's Mark Russell? It looks like whoever he is, he signed it down there on the bottom. 1999. Maybe I should look that up. Maybe that's actually a, an important thing. I think it would appeal to a lot of people. Well, there were none listed and none sold, and I can't really find him. I tried Googling him, can't find him. There's another one down here, guy holding a baby. It says, love you, I think Blanca. So, I don't know. I think I'm gonna leave him behind, leave him for somebody else to enjoy, maybe somebody named Blanca. Well, I tried looking these up. I actually don't think these little glass inserts go with these uh, metal candle holders. And for $6.49 each, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave them behind. Um, I wasn't able to really find anything on those, so I'm going to leave them for somebody else who might want to use them. And then when I was over here, I saw this little guy uh, by Metlocks. It's just the sugar bowl for $5.49, but it's orange tag, and orange tags are half off today. So it's the sugar bowl with a lid. I think that's worth picking up. I think that's definitely worth more than $2.50 or whatever it would be. Um, so yeah, we don't need to keep looking through all this though, because if I keep looking, I'm gonna find things I don't need, or I'm gonna pick up that plate, and we don't need that either. We've got enough plates. 
Okie dokie, well, our total spend there was $18, and I'm very excited for a couple of those things. Thank you guys for joining me, and as always, for liking and commenting on all of my adventures. It uh, really helps me and kind of keeps me going, um, energizes me, recharges my batteries, and if you have not subscribed, please do so you can continue to join me on my journeys. It's looking kind of dark and nasty out, out here, and the wind is picking up. Um, so we might be getting a monsoon storm. That's not going to be fun to drive home in. Um, so cross your fingers for me. Um, but anyways, thank you guys again for joining me. And I will see you on my next adventure. Until then, have fun. Be safe. Bye.